Hey everyone, Nut Free Mama here. Today I'm going to show you how to make red velvet cheesecake cupcakes. All right, let's start off with our ingredients, and this is going to make 24 cupcakes. And I know it seems like a lot, but they are going to be well worth it. So in a large bowl, I already have some of my dry ingredients for the actual cupcakes. It's two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of sugar, two teaspoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, two eggs, and then we're going to add to, oh, two eggs right here, and then we're going to add to that a cup of oil, a cup of buttermilk, and don't freak out if you don't have buttermilk, you can make your own. If you take one tablespoon of distilled white vinegar, put that into a cup, a measuring cup, and then you add milk the rest of the way and um, go ahead and stir it and then let it sit for five minutes and boom, you have buttermilk. So that's what I'm doing. Then you also need a teaspoon of white vinegar. You need a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then you need a tablespoon of red food coloring or less if you're using the gel food coloring like I am. So that's all for the cupcakes. Then we move on to the cheesecake, which you are going to need one 8-ounce package of sour cream at room temperature, one third cup sour cream, a fourth a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So that's all for the cheesecake layer. Then for the frosting, you need one 8-ounce package of cream cheese softened, a half a cup of butter softened, four cups of powdered sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, and then another tablespoon of vanilla extract. So you are going to use a lot of vanilla extract. All right, so first you want to go ahead and whisk all of those dry ingredients together in a very large bowl. All right, that looks pretty well combined. I'm going to go ahead and set that to a side and go ahead and grab another bowl to combine your wet ingredients. All right, now we want to whisk this all to combine it. All right, that's nice and combined, so I'm going to add my wet ingredients into my dry ingredients and just mix those with an, elec an electric mixer until they are well combined and smooth. All right, that looks good, and I'm not sure if I already said this, but make sure you preheat your oven to 350 and line two cupcake tins um, with li cupcake liners. I can't remember if I said that or not, but this is what it should look like, so now we're going to add our red food coloring. All right, that looks pretty good to me. It's red enough for my liking. So next we're just going to go ahead and put these into our cupcake tins. You just want to put two to three tablespoons um, into the bottom of each cupcake liner so it's about half full. All right, my cupcakes are ready to go. It's time to make the cheesecake layer. I've made a bit of a mess, and my cupcakes are more like two-thirds of the way full. That's how much um, batter I had, so that's okay. We'll just have some big cupcakes. All right, to make the cheesecake, you want to go ahead and mix together your cream cheese, sugar, vanilla, and sour cream just with an electric mixer until it's nice and smooth. All right, that looks good. So we're just gonna take about a tablespoon and um, dip it on top of each of your cupcakes, or drop it, sorry, just a tablespoonful. All right, this is what it should look like. So next with the back of the spoon, we are gonna try to um, smooth these out a little, but try not to touch the edges. You don't want your cream cheese um, mixture over into the edges. Okay, now we are gonna cook these 15 to 18 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clear. Now the cream, the um, cheesecake will be a little jiggly still when you get it out, but the cupcake should be done. All right, these just came out of the oven. I had to put mine in for five minutes extra. They just were not ready yet. So now we're just going to let them sit here and cool off, and then we have to put them in the refrigerator for up to two, for at least two hours before we put the frosting on. All right, so our two hours is up. We are going to get working on our frosting. So just go ahead and take your softened cream cheese and softened butter, and we're going to beat that with an electric mixer until it's nice and fluffy. All right, that looks good. You can add in your vanilla and your salt and just mix it again. All right, now we are going to add in our powdered sugar. Um, I'm just going to do a cup at a time. All right, that looks good, and it smells so yummy. So next we are just going to go ahead and put it in a piping bag or a Ziploc bag and cut the tip off. And then we're going to pipe it onto our cheesecake cupcakes. All right, here is what the finished product should look like. And you should have more than enough frosting to frost all 24 of your cupcakes. So let's cut one in, um, in half and see what they look like and have taste tester have a little taste. And there you have it. You can see the cheesecake layer in the middle. Oh, that looks so good. Let's have taste tester have a little taste. All right, taste tester, have a little taste. Yum, yum. Do you like it? 
All right, everyone, come back and see us again, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.